different types of fibroids. There are four different types um, that typically have certain characteristics to them when it comes to presenting itself with symptoms. So we do have uh, fibroids on the inside of the uterine wall. Those are called submucosal. They typically cause tons of bleeding. Um, and when I say bleeding, I mean women are changing extremely saturated overnight pads or diapers or pads inside of diapers um, every four hours, having all kinds of severe bleeding, anemia, um, blood transfusions, iron infusions, things like that. So those are typically um, the submucosal fibroids that cause that. Then there are intramural, which is inside of the walls of the, uh, of the uterus. And those typically have bleeding and pain correlated with them. The ones laying on the outer part of it are the ones that typically cause um, a lot of pain, which is uh, subserosal fibroids. So those become pretty large. Those are the ones that press up against women's backs. They cause a lot of back pain, um, sciatica type of pain. They're the ones that are visible usually through the, through the abdomen. Um, people feel a hard ball. They even, I've even had patients describe it to me as they feel a pulsation, you know, especially when laying on it because that blood flow trying to get to the fibroid itself. Um, they're the ones that typically press on the, the intestines causing constipation issues. So those, those are the three. And then there's something called a pedunculated fibroid where the fibroid itself branches off on a stalk, almost like a mushroom. And those are important because we do need an MRI in order to determine the size of that, the location of that, just in case um, there may be a slight risk of those breaking off. Um, but, and, you know, obviously making sure that we have to, we have the ability to, to pass it and making sure you're a good candidate. So those are the pedunculated fibroids and they kind of are just on a stalk.